Good evening and welcome to the third night of the budget workshops for the City of Laverne, Board of Mayor and Aldermen. Um, call this meeting to order to, deter to determine a quorum. Let's do a roll call of those participating by teleconference. I'll call the names of the members. If you are on the conference call, please signify by stating present. Vice Mayor Brown. Vice Mayor Brown, are you there? Present. Alderman Church. Alderman Church. Alderman Jones. Present. Alderman No. Present. We have four present, therefore we have a quorum. Just a few housekeeping issues before we continue. We need to document this, that we are conducting this meeting by electronic means due to the COVID-19 pandemic. And it is necessary to protect the public health, safety, and welfare of the citizens, employees, and elected officials from possible exposure to the virus. This meeting was advertised in the Murfreesboro Post. Uh, meeting packets were distributed electronically to board members and paper copies were available today. This meeting is being live streamed on Laverne Channel 3 and the city's YouTube channel. The video will be posted on YouTube after the conclusion of the meeting. Phyllis will take us through the capital expenses and purchases. And if you have any questions, we can go from there. Thank, thank you, Mayor. Tonight we have a two main sections that we're covering. One is the capital items and operating increases, and then we also have capital projects. Um, during the guys, I'm having some technical difficulties. Can you guys hear me? We can hear you, Alderman Church. Hello? Alderman Church, we can hear you. Can anybody hear me? Again, we can hear you, Alderman Church. I can hear you. Hello. This may be a technical issue on his end. Phyllis? Okay. Um, during the retreat, uh, we had various presentations by department heads and directors of... Um, any items that they feel necessary? Hey guys, can anybody hear me? Yes, Alderman Church, we can hear you. I just got a e uh, text from, from Glenn said you can hear me. I can't hear you guys. Glenn, if you let him know, that may be a technical issue on his end. No, there's no technical end. There's no technical problem. I got you now. Oh. <laughs> okay, Phyllis. Thank you. Okay. As I said, during the retreat, various, um, we had various presentations by different department heads and directors that went over their capital needs and their operating um, needs that are above and beyond what their current operating expenses are. I'm going to go down through the list, and then it, whenever we get done at the very end, we'll open it up for discussion before we move on to the capital projects list. So the list that, that I'm presenting is just the capital items and operating increases. For the finance department, uh, we had talked about doing the hotel motel audit, which um, is approximately $3,200 for engineering and planning. Uh, they had asked for a technical clerk, which is approximately 67000 Engineering has re requested a vehicle, approximately 32000 Codes has re requested a vehicle, approximately 32000 um, Codes has also asked for a plan review software, which equals about 19500 And then travel for the um, 
provider of that software. Um, we're averaging about five trips at $1,700 a trip, uh, which totals $8,500. Coes is at, also asked for a blue beam, um, which is um, about $3,000. For City Hall, we have requested the restrooms to be updated, which is approximately $26,500. IT department has asked for a switch refresh at 130,000, an audio eye at 3,500, and we've also looked into um, making all buildings in City Hall uh, fiber lines, which is approximately 556,000. The fire department has requested six firefighters with benefits, which equals about 360,000, one deputy chief with benefits, approximately 103,000. Uh, AEDs for fire trucks, approximately 28,770. One truck to replace the 2003 Tahoe at 54,000. Um, mobile and portable radios at 8,700. A gladiator fire hose at 24,948. And through the emergency services uh, department, they have requested $12,000 for a drone to be shared with the police department and $4,243 for a hazard a hazmat gas monitor. The police department has requested two narcotics detectives at 140,000, two um, vehicles for the, the new narcotics detectives, approximately 60,000. Um, equipment and training for those two detectives, approximately 69,000. One patrol officer at 67,000, one patrol vehicle at 62,000. Um, but the training for that officer would be around 62,000 in equipment. Um, in the police department, they've requested an assistant chief at approximately 100,000. Um, some new software for the um, mobile CAD system, uh, approximately 900,000, and that's the hardware also. 10 police patrol vehicles, 793,867. Eight mobile APHIS devices at 12,800. Two mobile license plate readers at 20,000. 49 ballistic helmets at 24,005, 10 radar signs at 30,000. Uh, Street Department has asked for an asphalt hot box and recycler at approximately 35,740, a cargo van uh, for 26,426, a tractor with attachments 134,215. The Fleet Department has requested an additional mechanic with benefits approximately 70,000. In the Parks Department, they have requested a Parks Supervisor at approximately 70,000, a Maintenance Supervisor approximately 76,000. Uh, paint, paintball Complex's bathrooms uh, need updating. They requested 12,000 for that. Ball Complex bathrooms, 16,000. They would like to take out um, their season, two seasonal to offset some of the expense for the the supervisor or the maintenance, the Parks Supervisor or the Maintenance Supervisor. Uh, so that will be taken out 22485 um, They've requested the greenway to remove the shrub and trees, which cost will be about 3500 Pour a new concrete pad and pavilion for the greenway, approximately 25000 Some picnic tables, trash cans, and a grill uh, for the greenway area, 11500 A skid steer for 48800 Two zero-turn mowers at twenty three five. A Toro utility vehicle at 23.8, a movie movie package at 20,500. They would like to also host a barbecue festival, which would probably cost about 5,000. They've also got some, a couple items that they're going to be looking into grants, uh, possibly, and that's replacing parking lot lights and poles and a frisbee golf course. Um, they would like to convert the substation for park shoes at approximately 30,000. Um, they would also like to bring soccer to Laverne. I don't have an estimated cost on that. They would like to rehab the basketball and tennis courts at 31100 They would like to resurface the walking trail. I don't have a cost for that yet. Um, and they would also like to add a program coordinator uh, for 60000 And those last about seven items are kind of um, things that they're looking at in the future that may not happen in 2021. For the library, they're requesting a new roof at approximately 150,000. Uh, replace the water fountain station at 2,000. Replace the tile in the bathrooms at 10,000. They would like to purchase a drive up book drop for 6,000. They would like to add a bench outside their library for 500. 
and they would like to replace the patron computer chairs and staff chairs at 3400 Stormwater has asked for a leaf collection pickup machine, which would be a cost approximately $100,000, a truck for the leaf collection, $60,000, um, GIS mapping for $25,000, the water treatment plant has requested a, a roll-up door replacement at $25,000, uh, water maintenance has asked for a pickup truck for a meter reader at $30,000, a pickup truck for a utility inspector at $35,000, and a pickup truck for the water department at $30,000. Um, there's also been a request for a utility engineer with the cost being split between several departments at $95,000. Um, water billing has requested a work order system. Um, we're kind of waiting to see what our new next-gen software is going to have to offer, but we kind of have looked at their um, what they have to offer. We're, looking, um, we're not sure that it's going to meet our needs. so. Uh, We'll be coming back probably um, later on in the year, later later in the fiscal year 2021 with um, some information on that. Uh, they have requested a mail folder so, uh, inserter with all the mailings that we're doing now. We'd like to have a, a mail uh, inserter. They've also asked for a pickup truck for the water billing tech at 30,000 and new flooring for the water billing department at 5,000. Mayor, I'll turn it over to you. First off, does anyone have any questions over the uh, capital items operating increases that we just went through? Yeah, I have a question, Alderman Church. Um, the paintball complex bathrooms, what exactly is that? That's paint the ball complexes bathrooms. It's not the it's not a paintball complex. So that's the bathrooms at the park. Alderman No here is David McGowan. You on the line? Yes, sir. Can you hear me? <clears throat> yes. I've seen the uh, or the walking trail up there at the park. Man, that thing's in dire straits. I thought we had something going on for that with a price or something. I think we had estimated over the course of the last couple of years, I want to say twenty five to fifty thousand dollars for that. Right. Uh, there's that grant. There's that grant that's coming available. That the workshop was supposed to be held the first of April. That got canceled due to the COVID. Hopefully, oh, that, once they yeah. that, What's that? Go ahead, sir. Oh, I was just talking talking out loud. You're right. I, I remember that now. But uh, as far as the park goes up there, that that's something that uh, that thing's pitiful. Yes, sir. And hopefully. Hopefully, if we get into that grant cycle and we do get awarded some of that, that some of those funds can go to uh, address a lot of these issues inside of the park and take some of that burden off the taxpayers. And what about you had mentioned about that uh, pickleball? Um, I think if we ever get to the point where we resurface the tennis court, we could either do that as a dual purpose, a tennis court and a pickleball, or I'm pretty sure there's an organization that's coming in on the other side of town that I believe they have plans to put a pickleball court in place. Um, we definitely wouldn't mind redoing our tennis courts for both uses. Right. I thought that's what you were going to do is double strap them. <clears throat> yep. And, and, and we could do that because all it really is is a – if we're going to resurface the tennis courts, it's just another overlay, um, a couple more paint stripes, and then you do have that dual purpose there. Um, it may be a little confusing for some, but I think the people that are really into the pickleball will be able to determine which is which and uh, and go at it pretty good. All right. Thank you, sir. Alderman, no, just sir. to let you know, in the capital projects plan, the 2020 through 2026 proposal, um, it's got in there both items that you've mentioned for 2020, uh, for 20 through 21. Does anybody have any other okay. questions? I guess I'm just a little greedy. I was looking forward to it. 
Any other questions? Okay. Well, <laughs> last year, one thing I know we had done was that if anyone had any um, requests or for, for specific ones of these, last year we talked about emailing those over to Bruce. I thought we'd do something different and just kind of discuss that here. Each person kind of go through um, what they're wanting to see. We have um, roughly $1.8 million. Now, 820 of that is a grant that can only be used on um, some very specific items. Bruce, can you um, walk us through an example of some of those items? Yes, sir. The, uh, the state put out some guidelines for that uh, local government support grant. Uh, there's basically five or six different areas that this would be allowed to be used for. One is IT hardware up upgrades, uh, which includes newer oh, replacements. No, I can't hear him. He sounds like he's in a tunnel. Can you get closer to your microphone, maybe? Or do you want to come over here? I may just come over there. Okay, give us just one minute, Alderman. No, we're going to, Bruce, get a little bit closer over to the phone. Yes, sir. There's five or six different areas that uh, can be used for this uh, one-time grant. Uh, the first one is the IT hardware upgrades, which would include new or replacement of IT equipment with a one-time expenditure for items such as hardware. Uh, there's capital maintenance, uh, which would focus on maintaining current facilities, primarily through repair and renovation of roofing, mechanical, and electrical systems. Uh, projects would include items that appreciably extend the life of the facility, uh, such as alterations to rectify code deficiencies, modifications for health and safety issues, uh, repairs to improve utility systems, repaving, roof repairs, exterior fencing, lighting, and repair. Uh, the maintenance and renovation of recreational facilities would not be an allowable use. Uh, number three is utility system upgrades, which is maintenance and upgrades to existing water and sewer infrastructure. Category four is road <coughs> projects, which would include road and bridge maintenance, uh, renovation and replacement projects, along with traffic control initiatives. Uh, it says priority should be given to existing roads and bridges. Uh, category five is public safety, which would include ADA type projects, uh, as well as equipment purchases for law enforcement, fire and emergency response. And then category six is COVID-19 response, uh, which is related to control and containment. Uh, One-time expenses include supplies and equipment purchases, cleaning, emergency food and shelter programs. So those are the different areas that we can use this grant funding for and the city received just over $820,000 uh, for this one-time grant. Thank you, Bruce. So I'm going to call on each one of you if you could just go through any of your priorities you would like to see included with this budget. Um, we'll start off with Alderman Church. Alderman Church, are you still with us? Not hearing anything from Alderman Church, we will move on over to Alderman No. Chief Walker? Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, I know you mentioned that own thing is so there's there's not going to be any kind of problems with that thing flying up in the air and getting in the air traffic controller's way. You no, getting in trouble and going to jail? No, not at all because we will have to have trained personnel. Uh, we can go uh, only about 400 feet uh, if we're anywhere in the flight line. Out to where we are right here over us, it's about 400 feet. And on top of that, there are a lot of restrictions on law enforcement specifically for flying from the law enforcement perspective. But for fire and police both, 
we have to go by the SEC guidelines and regulations and how trained and uh, trained and basically certified operators for the drones. I just personally, I kind of like that idea. Have you, uh, you got some buddies that's in other departments that have these? Are they doing good for them? We have some that are, yes, sir. And what we're looking at as much as anything is extreme heat, extreme cold, where we have uh, seniors that we may be looking for, um, and also children, plus also for other issues we might have involving fires for them to be able to see and to look and watch. Uh, it's kind of like the rescue that fire had, and I'm not speaking on Nick's behalf at all, but uh, they had the cell tower guy hung up. They used to drone there. Uh, they commandeered one, actually, that helped for them to see what was going on with it. And then um, it, it's a tool of that very valuable to looking for those who commit crimes and prey on others and then take off potentially on foot. I guess it's cheaper than buying a helicopter. Thank you, Chief. Yes, sir. Alderman, no. Any more, uh, any other priorities you're looking at? Uh, no, sir. I mean, everything looks like it's, uh, from what I know, everything looks like it's uh, needed. I have to trust the department heads to say that they're not looking for anything just for ha-ha, so to speak, that they really need this stuff. So, But I was just curious about the, the uh, drone because, you know, I'd like to have one. But uh, no, sir, I'm good. Okay, and just to make everyone aware, everything on this sheet – we will not be able to um, include in the budget this year just because we have about a million um, that we can pretty much use for um, anything on here and then we have about 820 with that special grant. So at this point, uh, Alderman Church, have you rejoined us? Okay, let's move on to Alderman Jones. I think as it stands now, the uh, my priority would be to make sure that these roofs. You did say that uh, getting the roof repairs would fall under the 820. Yes, sir, it could. I think that that should be a. Pro I mean, that's a priority on my uh, wish list. Uh, first of all, which would free up uh, lots of other money for the other things that uh, that are also budgeted in on the. Uh, on, on the the department heads wish list also but I would uh, I would get those two larger items knocked out of the way and then uh, with that being said I'd put the rest toward IT for as much as they get because these uh, these people usually don't get anything and what they do get it's I mean we get to a, a do or die situation and I think we need to start uh, helping them out a little bit too with anything that that we can before they get to a point where they they are uh, uh, they're gonna they're in dire need of it. That would be my three priorities: the two roofs and uh, helping out IT. Okay, thank you, Alderman Jones. Alderman Church, are you with us yet? Not seeing Alderman Church back with us. Moving on to Vice Mayor Brown. Vice Mayor Brown, are you with us? Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you now. Can you? Oh, okay. I'll be sending over a, a prioritized list over to Bruce and um, Kyle and Phyllis. Can you get a little bit closer to your... your microphone we could I couldn't quite understand you sure I'll be I'll be sending a prioritized list over to uh, Bruce and Kyle and Phyllis okay okay mm -hmm. 
Well, for myself. Mayor Cole, Alderman Jones. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm still going to be sending a list also. I just thought you wanted us to say what would be at the top of the list. I'll still be sending a list also. Wonderful. Thank you. Well, uh, Alderman Church, are you with us yet? Not seeing Alderman Church. I mentioned a couple of items that, um, that at least I was thinking. Considering the stormwater, water treatment plant, um, and the water billing departments are not part of the general fund, and that is a pretty healthy fund as it is, I don't see a problem with um, their request myself. In fact, it would be even adding a service with that leaf collection pickup machine. Um, with the 820, um, I do agree with Alderman Jones about IT. I think with the fiber lines connecting to connect the buildings, that could actually not only improve um, our IT technology here in-house, but it also could allow for um, us to have another service, not just not run by the city, but a private service through United to provide competition in the marketplace here in Laverne to our residents. And then of course that would generate franchise fees as well. Um, the one assistant chief position is also um, one that, that I would like to see. Um, I think personally many of these items will have to be kind of held until January so we can better see what our financial standpoint is for the city so that we can make the most sound decision for our residents. Um, on average, it's, you know, to see how we're doing in the year, it's about midpoint, um, so that, that would be January. Phyllis, do you want to take us through the next section? Sure. Next section is our capital, hang on just a minute, um, our capital plan, our capital projects plan and um, it's a pretty pretty lengthy list um, and, but I'll go through them and I think you have um, some a little more detailed um, uh, spreadsheets that explain each of these in detail but I'll go through them for the water treatment plant um, we would like to um, extend the 24 inch or add a 24 inch water line from the Stones River um, I think it's from the roundabout to the water treatment plant. That's approximately $4.5 million, and that um, has been scheduled or would like to be scheduled out for uh, fiscal year 2021. Um, I won't go through the 1920 because those are actually included already in this year's budget, so I'll just be hitting everything but the 1920. Replacing the filter media, we're looking at another million dollars for that project. Additional flow meters, 80,000. Blair Road, 12 inch line upgrade design, um, 120,000 in 2021, approximately a million eight in 21, 22. Um, and then the Cedar Park Circle design and construction, about 550,000 in 2021. Uh, removing the Mason Road tank, uh, 200,000. Uh, SCADA system upgrade, a million dollars. 18 inch upgrade lines to the Sanders tank for design and construction, 60,000 in 2021 and then 300,000 in um, the following year. Jefferson pipe water line, 12 inch, um, $2.5 million in uh, two years from now. Old National Highway, 12 inch upgrade design and construction. That'll run about $2 million and that would be in the fiscal year 23-24. Sanders tank design and construction about $3 million in 24-25. And um, the Sanford knob tank design about $3 million the following year. Cheney Wood design, 350,000. Cheney Wood um, uh, interceptor, $4 million. Uh, update the, okay, we already did the update the master sewer plan. Uh, Ridgemont Pump Station, we're currently working on that project. Um, we expect to spend $200,000 in the next fiscal year. Middle Upper Hurricane Creek Interceptor Construction, $625,000 uh, in 2021 and $625,000 in 2021-22. Uh, 
Uh, Ivy Point Interceptor Pump Station Design and Construction, 1.7 million, um, 1,750,000 in 2021. Stones River Line and Station Rehab Design, 93,000 in 2021. Clayton Estates Interceptor Rehab Design, 250,000 in 2021. Clayton Estates, uh, St excuse me, Stones River Construction, 430,000 in 21. 22 Clayton Estates construction in uh, 2.5 million in 21-22 preliminary design industrial sewer extension $20,000 in 21-22 um, Cheney Woods pump station design 50,000 in 21-22 Waldron Road pump station construction 350,000 in 21-22 Cheney pump station construction in 21-22 for 350,000 and um, Maybe that's 22, 23, sorry about that. Fergus Road Pump Station in 24, 25, 550,000. And then that um, is all of the projects for water and sewer. Um, in the Capital Project Streets, uh, for next year, we're looking at um, the Carruthers Road curve widening, design and construction, about 50,000. Realignment of Charter and Centerpoint construction, 1.5 million. Sam Ridley connector design, 310,000. Carruthers Road widening and realignment design, 425,000. Blair Road West to Carruthers design, 425,000. South Waldron and Blair intersection design, 575,000. Um, and those are all the 2021 20, projects for Capital Project Streets. In the following year, Carruthers Road widening and realignment, 1.5 million. And then two years out, Old National Highway, 1.5 million. South Walter Construction, 16,500,000. Uh, Old National Highway Construction, approximately 5 million. And then in the Stormwater Department, um, for next year, we're looking at the Stones River Regional Detention Design and Construction, of approximately 200,000. Um, failed septic renewal, uh, 25,000 in 2021, and another 25,000 in 21 22. Um, Old National Regional Pond and Drainage Improvements, 1.5 million. Uh, for the, that, that is all of the stormwater projects. For the Capital Projects Parks and Rec, we're looking at the, the Bark Park, um, the city's portion of the Bark Park to be about 125,000, plus or minus in 2021. And miscellaneous park improvements for the senior ball field, uh, 25,000. Walking trail renovations, 50,000. Tennis and basketball court resurfacing, 35,000. Greenway extension design, 100,000. West Side Neighborhood Park, approximately 1.5 million. The Greenway extension toward the boat ramp, phase two, 400,000. And those, all of those that I just mentioned, those six or seven are for 2021. And uh, 21, 22, state park ex expansion, uh, skate park expansion, 150,000. And the soccer park, a million dollars. And then a couple of years out, the Civic Auditorium, uh, approximately six and a half million. Um, for the general fund capital projects, um, we have uh, approximately 1.5 million, which will be our portion of the storm shelter. Um, we have uh, approximately seven and a half million for a public works building, approximately 10 million for a fire headquarters, 45,000 for a parks roof. Uh, 10 million for police station expansion in a couple of years, 350,000 for the civic multi-use building, a fire hall four, 1.2 million, um, 1,250,000, 1, 1, and then fire hall two, two relocation, 1,250,000. Uh, and those would all be general fund capital projects. Phyllis, uh, I've got a question here going back to the um, sewer, and I don't know if Anyone from Sewer or Kyle wants to hop in on this, but the, um, let's see here, the Stones River construction, was that the Stones River letting that we discussed previously? That's, that's the Stones River pump station. That's the pump station? Yeah, that'd be a pump station in 21 and 22. Okay. So I'm, I'm wondering where that item went to then that we that we discussed. Huh? Um, 
don't worry if you're fine, because... So, uh, it, Adam, are you on the call? Mm -hmm. Anybody have their phone unmuted? Yes, hello. Hey, Adam, do you remember the Stones River Letting? Uh, the letting, at least, is it shown as being shown in 2122 on, on Phyllis's sheet, which she took from mine. Okay, so that's right around the same then. Okay, thank you, Adam. Okay. Does anybody have any questions about the capital projects plan? Was everyone able to hear me? Does anyone have any questions on the capital projects plan? Is everyone able to hear me? I can hear you, sir. Okay. I can hear you, Alderman Cole. The computer unmuted again. No questions for me, Alderman Jones. Okay. Thank you. Got it. Let's see here. Anyone else? Now, this year we're discussing as far as um, one thing we didn't do last year was a, an act, actually adopt a capital projects plan. So this will come before you with the BOMA uh, meeting for the budget. Phyllis, is there anything else that you've got? That is it for, for all the uh, capital projects and it's also all I have for the capital uh, items and operating increases. Thank you. Well, we will be looking for anybody who sends over emails as far as priorities. We'll have a look at that um, here in the coming days. N at next month's in the May Board of Mayor and Alderman meeting, we will have first reading for the budget. So we will have a chance to go through all of this a little bit more with um, the meeting and go from there. Does anyone have any questions? Alderman No here, uh, Mayor. Would it be more simplified to, on the capital projects things or uh, what the departments were asking for to just send over to you things that we feel like is not important or do you you want a uh, top to bottom top list? Well, you you can send either one, but don't send it over to me. Send it over to Well, I, Bruce. I don't, yeah, I didn't mean send it over to you, but uh, either way will work. Yes, sir. Okay. Any other questions? Okay. Thank you all. I call this budget workshop closed.